you guys welcome back today I'm doing this makeup look right here this is the look that I'm wearing in my question and answer video sort of like a bronzy girly just bronzy sort of look I don't really know so I hope you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching and let's get started so I just pulled out some shadows that I've had for a while but I just haven't used in a really long time the first one is creme brulee from makeup geek and I'm gonna pop this into the crease and I'm doing little circular motions and holding pretty far back on my brush so that I don't put on too much right away. All right, so next I wanna take this shadow. This is called Brown Sugar from Makeup Geek. It is a deeper brown, almost like a chocolatey kind of brown. It doesn't look like brown sugar, but it's like a deep, rich brown. I'm putting it on this Crown C511 brush and I'm gonna put this in the outer corner. I just kind of stamped it over here and then I'm just kind of blending it inwards once the majority of it is off the brush. And then I'm gonna go back into the other brush with the creme brulee on it and buff out the edge. Now across my entire eyelid, I'm gonna take Mulch from MAC. I'm just applying this with the 242 brush from MAC. And then I just went ahead and blended out the crease with the color tan lines from Makeup Geek, just so that I didn't have any separation between the crease and the darker shades. Now I'm gonna take Woodwinked from MAC on that same brush from MAC. I'm just gonna use the other side. And I'm gonna put this on the eyelid. I'm gonna highlight the brow bone underneath the eyebrow area. And I'm gonna use the color Mirage from Makeup Geek. I don't think I've used this shadow before. So I think this will work. It looks like it will. Oh yeah, that's a nice, a nice bright highlight. I quickly just went ahead and applied some eyeliner and my lashes. These are the It Show Fluffy Lashes from Velour Lashes. They're my favorite. Uh, so now we can do the face. I'm going to prime. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with the Step 1 Equalizer from Makeup Forever. This one is the Smoothing Primer. First, I like to put it right in this area where my pores are really bad. Then I do pretty much everywhere else with the rest of it. And just spread it all over. I do have on a self tan, it's actually developing right now, so my arm is like way darker than my face. Um, I am going to use the Anastasia Stick Foundation. This is in the color Ivory, which is pretty perfect to my natural skin tone, but since I'm self tanning right now and it's processing, I'm going to add some of the Laguna Bronzer from NARS. So I'm going to go in with that much, we'll see, in between use my brand new beauty blender look at how beautiful this is it's hot as pink um, it is damp right now and I'm just going to pounce the foundation and the bronzer into my skin which it seems to be taking like 10 years to do did you clean that mom did oh. I was just gonna say thank you <laughs> never mind Okay, I'm gonna go in and conceal. I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is probably gonna be a little too light for me, but we'll just try it out. I definitely need to balance this everywhere else. Now I wanna cream contour. I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in Almond. I haven't done this in a really long time. Actually, I think I did it in my last video, but that was a while ago. And I'm going to use the Crown C517 brush to buff the product in. I'm going to go ahead and set my face with my new favorite face powder. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. And I've had this for like two weeks now. It is called the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in shade 2 or medium. Um, it looks like this. I just love the packaging. So far, like everything I've tried from Charlotte Tilbury, I've loved. Um, so I'm going to set it with a brush. I'm just going to use this tapered highlighter brush from Sigma. It's 
the F35. And I'm just gonna use this just to set the entire face. I'm gonna use the NYX Contour and Highlight Palette to contour my face today. Um, I've been so tired of contouring and highlighting, but I still like the way it looks. I don't know, it's just like a pain in the butt to do. I think I'm gonna mix these two shades together to give me the right shade for me. Yeah, right back here. I put on a lot more than I anticipated. I'm gonna highlight my cheekbones, the center of my nose, Cupid's bow, all that jazz with the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. Uh, this is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette. I'm gonna use the highlighter one, obviously. And just hit the high points of the face. For blush today, I'm gonna use the Flower Child blush from Becca and apply that with my Smith 112 brush. Okay, underneath the eye, I'm just gonna take that creme brulee shade from Makeup Geek, put it right under here. I am gonna just finish this off by putting some of that highlight shade there in the inner corner, the um, Charlotte Tilbury one, and just pop that right there. I'm going to complete the eyes by applying some Bottom Lash Mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now this has been my favorite lip combo lately. This is the uh, NYX Nude Pink Lip Liner first. So I'm going to just outline my lips and overline just a little bit with the lip liner. And then this has been my favorite lip product recently. Hourglass sent me quite a few of these new lipsticks. What are they called? Uh, well, I think they're just called girl. I don't know. They're these like lip balm things that look like a crayon. And this is in the color creator. It's a beautiful rose neutral shade and they're so comfortable on the lips. They look like a sheeny type of gl not gloss, but just like a really sheeny lipstick. They're so nice. So I'm gonna use this. All right guys, that's it for this video. I hope you like the look. I, I really like it. It's just bronzy and just girly and I like it. So I hope you guys like it too. Please subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you guys later. Bye.